Let us go through the key points of the lesson Motions of the Earth. The Earth has two types of motion rotation and revolution. Earth completes one rotation in 24 hours and one revolution in 365 days and 6 hours. The rotation causes day and night. Earth ka sun ke charo o revolution or apni axis par jhukao ki wajah se seasons change hote hain. So the revolution of the earth around the sun causes change in seasons. Summer solstice occurs on 21st June. It is the position of the earth when the rays of the sun fall directly on the tropic of cancer. As a result, the northern hemisphere experiences the longest day and the shortest night. So, it is summer in the northern hemisphere and winter in the southern hemisphere. Winter solstice occurs on 22nd December. It is the position of the earth when the rays of the sun fall directly on the tropic of Capricorn. As a result, the northern hemisphere experiences the shortest day and the longest night. So, it is winter in the northern hemisphere and summer in the southern hemisphere. On 21st March and 23rd September, the sun's rays fall straight on the equator. At this time, north and south poles are not tilted towards the sun. As a result, Puri earth per day or night equal length ke hote hain. That is why 21st March and 23rd September are called equinoxes. The word equinox is taken from Latin language. Equinox means equal night. Heat zones are the different zones of the earth where the sun's rays fall differently thus causing different climate patterns. Sun rays kahi par straight padti hain aur kahi par slanting jiski wajah se earth ko teen heat zones mein divide kiya gaya hai. These zones are torrid zone also known as tropical zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. Torrid zone is the zone between tropic of Cancer and tropic of Capricorn. This zone receives maximum heat from the sun. The region between the tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle or between the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle is called Temperate Zone. Frigid Zone is the area between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole or the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. 